Good morning. Happy Sunday. I have just jinxed it. I was about to come on and say, you know what, this hour forward thing, um, and losing an hour of sleep, it's quite good. The kids have stayed in bed for longer, but they just got up. But they have stayed in bed for an hour longer, which is interesting and good. Anyway, so, which reminds me, outdoor sessions start tomorrow, which is exciting. So this extra light will definitely help. Um, Good morning, Karen. Now, I wanted to talk about a quick question just to change the way you feel, to change your state, change your energy levels. Sunday's a great day to almost take a step back and just kind of rather focus on how we don't want to feel, which is what we so often do, right? Like most people, when we complain, when we feel, like me included, we we complain about how we don't want to feel. And then once our brain do it, focuses on how we don't want to feel. So we want to flip that and focus on how we want to feel. AKA, I just ask this question. If I want to create energy today, I will dot, dot, dot. If I want to create energy today, I will dot, dot, dot. Quite simply, write this down. If you need energy today, you need to change your state today, just write down. If I need to create energy today, I will dot, dot, dot. So if you ever found yourself saying, oh, I'm so tired, why am I so tired? You have a strategy for feeling tired, just like I do. These might be subconscious habits that we do. But the more we can bring our conscious mind to it and have it written down. If I need to create energy today, I will go for a walk. I will stand by the window, get some fresh air. I will stand up. I will grab a glass of water. I will have a cup of coffee, no phone. I will do some meditation. I will do a workout. I will do 10 squats. I will put on my favorite song and dance the morning, afternoon, night away. It's amazing how that can change the way you feel so quickly and also very powerful in that we can feel a certain way, build ourselves up to feeling a certain way, but yet listening to music, exercising, getting outside can change the way we feel so quickly, which is exciting. And in three days time, you can feel so different to where you were three days ago, which is the most exciting part of this. And how you feel impacts what you do, what you do impacts your results. So just start there. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. If I need to create energy today, I will. For me today, if I need to create energy today, I will. I've got a list of it. You can make a list. Go for a nap. Have a glass of water. Do one minute of exercise. Put on some music. Dance around the kids. Throw the kids in the air. They love that. And they have fun. Run them. Chase them around. <laughs> That's another thing that they love doing. All these things can add up. Do some meditation on, on the Acumat that I have. When I have a list, I have a strategy for feeling good. If I don't, I'm leaving it to chance and I'll probably just focus on how I don't want to feel. Why am I so tired? Why am I so tired? I'm so tired all the time. I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? Then we just think about why we're so tired and then we beat ourselves up for feeling tired rather than focusing on the strategy to overcome it. Which just so happens to be habits that will probably lead to health outcomes that you want as well. So I hope that helps. Happy Sunday. Make it a great day. The kids are shouting. The glow clock definitely isn't on yet. The sun's not up on the glow clock. If you know what I'm on about, you know. Anyway, the circadian rhythms have overridden technology. So, I best be off. Outside sessions, like I said, start again tomorrow to go alongside our live workouts. So if you want more information on that, on that send me a message. I'll get you the details. Make it a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Oh, what's the AccuMap? One second, I'll go get it. this little uh, spiky mat here, this little spiky mat, you lay on it and I meditate on it and it is quite spiky. Does it do anything? I don't know. However, it makes me focus on my breath very good, very nicely, very controlled and it forces me to lay down and do something. Rather than go, I'll meditate later. I'll get run, go on the acumat, going to lay down. When I lay down, I don't do anything else but focus on my breathing. Morning, Sarah. So that, that's essentially why I do it. Um, it was recommended me to me by someone who does quite a lot of yoga work. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try. And I quite like it. So anyway, any questions, let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.